Hey divers, Alec Pierce, Vintage Scuba. You'll enjoy this one. Quite a few of, of, of you folks have uh, made comments and asked questions about full face scuba. Full face scuba, meaning that your whole face is inside a mask or some device uh, and, uh, and asked if it's good or bad or whatever. And uh, you know, there's, there's two aspects to it. This is Vintage Scuba. This is my Vintage Scuba presentation. So in this presentation, I'm gonna show you full face scuba from years and years ago, like in fact, this is from the 50s, 60s. Uh, uh, there is modern full face scuba as well, full face uh, um, free, free, di free diving. Uh, and, and, but that's entirely a different matter entirely. And I've dealt with that very briefly in some of my comments. You can buy a full face scuba today, a mask over your whole face, regulator and goes to the tank and you breathe and you're looking around. I guess you could smoke in there if you wanted to and then you can talk to your buddy and so on. Now, <clears throat> it sounds really exciting because communication, you can communicate with each other electronically. Uh, a couple of problems with it, which we'll discuss at some other time. But what I want to deal with today is full face scuba from the old days. Now, if you go back in the vintage uh, scuba uh, um, uh, episodes, you'll see one back there quite a ways. I think it was in the second episode about, about scuba backpacks. And in there, I actually showed a full face scuba unit. It was called a normal air. Normal air, had a tank, regulator, and it had a full face mask that went on, had a really, really unique back, a pack that mounted on your chest with weights right here in your chest. It was pretty neat. It wasn't terribly, terribly popular. This particular full face scuba mask was pretty popular. In fact, we were able to find, Kevin was able to find quite a few ads that ran in Skin Diver magazine. And I think he's indicated that he'll put a couple of those in there. If you look at actual ads that show divers using this particular system uh, in advertisement. So uh, let me explain about this. This was much more popular than the normal air. Uh, this, this was actually called the Hydro Pack. I don't know where they come up with these names, normal air, hydro pack, but whatever. This is called the hydro pack. Now, many, many things make it unique and interesting. First of all, it's made by a, a company called Scott, also from the UK, Scott. Now, that's interesting because Scott, same company, still makes breathing apparatus just like this. A mask and a host of a tank that goes in your back. Yeah, you see them on firefighters all the time. And sometimes on construction workers or, or city workers that go down to the sewers and need fresh air. But most commonly on firefighters. Yeah, you see firefighters, they put a mask on, a bit like this. Hose runs down, they got a tank on their back. Made by the same company, Scott. But in the 70s, Scott, that same company, made a scuba system. Scuba for underwater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Full face mask. Here's what it looked like. And it's really very simple. It's a mask. You can see the mask. Big round face on it, not a great face plate, a little black in there. Had a chin pocket at the bottom, you put your chin in there, came up to your forehead, filled your whole face, you see? And then the regulator went onto the tank. Of course, you turn the tank air on, <clears throat> and air comes up to the second stage. This is the second stage. It's not in your mouth. There's nothing in your mouth, it's pretty cool. You can swim around down there, you can chew gum, smoke cigarettes. <laughs> get it lit, I guess you could, you can talk to your buddy, and so on, so, so that was kind of neat, so the host came up to the second stage, now the second stage was a lot like the second stages we have today, in fact, it has a lot of the same features, including a purge button, so if you needed the blast of air, you just push on the purge button, same as you do today with your own regulator, you push on the middle of the regulator, and whoosh, you get a blast, same thing, purge button, and a variety of other neat devices on it as well. Now, one of the, one of the most interesting features of this uh, Hydro Pack, Scott Hydro Pack device was this tube here. Maybe you can get in close to this tube here, Kevin. This tube, as you can see, is a good sized tube, and it goes right down near the second stage, right down in there where you get your air from. And it has this funny cap on the top. You see that cap with a neural section? And here's the way it works. This was actually a snorkel. Yeah, because, you see, if you are scuba diving with one of these full face systems and you come to the surface and you don't want to continue to use air from the tank, you can't just whip the mask off and stick, you could and whip the mask, stick a snorkel up, now you have no mask, you see? So uh, what do you do if you're on the surface? Well, it's really very simple. You take your hand, you reach up here and you unscrew the snorkel. And now you breathe through the snorkel. <sighs> in through the snorkel. Don't forget, when you go back underwater, put that down snugly, and now the air comes through the second stage. <laughs> Pretty slick, huh? I mean, it was mechanically a little bit complicated, and we certainly don't 
need it nor use it today. But at the time, it was quite a development. And hence, as uh, I think when you see those ads, you'll see that the Hydro Pack from Scott in the UK was a pretty popular. So there's a full face mask. What's wrong with it? Why didn't, why isn't it still around? Well, a couple of reasons. First of all, it's expensive. That's right. One of these devices would cost three times as much as a regular mask and regulator. You could buy a good regulator in, in the 60s for 40, 50 bucks. That's right. And a mask was 10 bucks. Tank was about 80 bucks. So you see, for $150, you were a scuba diver. This Scott Hydro Pack system cost well over $200. And that made a big difference. I don't know, $50 a day is not a big deal, but $50 back in those days was a lot of money. So they were more expensive. Also, a lot of parts, a lot of bits and pieces to keep clean, salt water. You had to take the, the exhaust valve apart, and the second stage apart, and the first stage, it had to be clean all the time. And if you, weren't, if you didn't keep it sealed up, then the rubber would get a bit stiff. This spider that goes in the back of your head is getting a bit stiff already. So it took a fair bit of maintenance. But there were other problems as well. How you equalize. There's nothing to pinch your nose. No, you can't reach up inside the mask and pinch your nose. So you can't pinch your nose to equalize. So the only way you can equalize is by swallowing water. Could be a minor problem because there's no water in the mask. Or moving your jaw back and forth, swallowing, and so on. So you had to find a method to equalize. You couldn't equalize easily if you had this mask on. Even more serious, you can't clear the mask. As the mask leaks and starts to fill it with water, there's no effective method to clear it. No way to clear it. If you breathe into the mask to push any water out, the air you breathe in just goes out through the exhaust valve. It doesn't build up pressure. There's no way to do that. There were little tricks that we learned after a while. We would learn to tip our head back a little bit so all the water gathered in this little chin pocket. Then we'd take your finger up in there, go like that, and blow hard and some of that water would blow out, but it wasn't very good. So you couldn't equalize, couldn't clear the mask, and I was kidding, you couldn't smoke either. <laughs> so they, they certainly weren't perfect. Anyway, one of the other things that's really interesting about this Scott pack, this hydro pack for scuba diving, and it happens to be the same as the current firefighters Scott packs, their emergency Scott packs, is that this is the way you wore it. And you're going to say, it's upside down, Alec, you dummy. No, no. See the label? This is the way you wore it. This is a standard pack on the back here, made by Scott. It's actually kind of neat because it's a quick release pack. You just flip this lever right here, and this pack came right off. So you could take the tank in for filling quite easily. Yeah, but this is a standard pack. See a shoulder strap and a waist strap. And the regular came down your right side and tucked in and fastened onto the valve of the tank underneath down in here. Yeah. Now, uh, Scott Pack, they've always made it that way. That's the way they did it. What they did was they made it a positive. So they said to the divers, and you'll see this in the ads, that the valve is mounted in the middle of your back down low, so you can't bump your head on it and it can't get hit if you're inside of a shipwreck. That's kind of neat. You know? I don't know if that's a really big deal. But Scott, with their funny upside down tank, actually turned it into a positive. They tried to anyway. And there's some neat features. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop for just a moment and get this thing on. It takes me more than a second. I'm going to actually put this on and hook it up so you can actually see how it looked on a scuba diver. Okay, you hang on just a minute. I'll be right back. <laughs> Let's go diving. Sure, I'm ready. I got my tank on my back, my Scott Hydro Pack tank on my back. You see that? Shoulder straps, waist strap. And as I mentioned to you, the regulator fastens to the bottom on the right-hand side, which makes sense to be on the right-hand side, right? All I have to do, I'm waiting for you, get your gear on, Kevin, is put my mask on, pull the spider down, and jump in the water. It's just that simple. I know it looks a little bit weird, but that's the way it was. If you, if you, and when you take a look at those ads again that Kevin's posted on there, you'll see that this actually was a pretty popular system. And you'll enjoy the ads as well. So there you have. I don't know if you'll ever see another one of these, certainly not in a video like this, um, but there you go, a Scott Hydropat, full-face scuba from the 70s. Okay, see ya.